I'm one of the few people that can really pinpoint a, a thing that totally changed my life. I was born in Japan, lived on a little rice farm. I was almost eight years old when my mother decided that if there was ever going to be a life for herself and her children, she would have to bring us to Hawaii. We came in steerage with one suitcase. That's how poor people come to our country. I had no idea what life would have in store for me. I grew up knowing how vulnerable our family was and that everything relied on my mother. But this was also a country that gave me opportunities and I early on decided that I would do something that would be meaningful. I just didn't think that it was going to be politics. Because it is not the first thing that comes to mind <laughs> that a woman, immigrant, that we should run for office. It takes a lot for a woman to get to the U.S. Senate. Nobody hands these seats to us. And we're fighting very big battles to get to where we are. There were five of us, the Democratic women, running for open seats in our respective states. So we would campaign together and the dynamic, the visual of seeing all these women, it really hit the people who were at our events that this is a powerful gathering of women who could work together. The women of the Senate take turns hosting dinners on a regular basis, bipartisan, and it is not to fight about issues, but it is really to be supportive, get to know each other, and we create those opportunities which the men don't do that much. And I've told my mother there's nothing I can do in my life that compares to what she did to bring three children to this country because she wanted a better life for us. Nothing that I do compared to that. What a country that in one generation, here I am. <laughs>